And if you don't get it from heaven, you won't get it. I'm talking about, yeah, revelation, things revealed, comes only by the Holy Ghost. You could take a child in the natural, never set his foot in a classroom, and when he's 50 years old, you could say, how much is four times four? He'd say, I don't know. You're 50 years old, and you, well, let's make it easier then. How much is two plus two? He'd say, I don't know. Not been revealed to him, has it? No, that's naturally. This spiritual stuff, if you don't get this from God, you ain't getting it. Amen. Amen. And, I, and, and I'll quote this scripture to you. Uh, in John, the, the John the Baptist said, at least a man um, receive, he said, a man can receive nothing lest it be given to him from heaven. Amen. At the very end of Jesus' ministry, he told the disciples, he began to tell them about himself in this book, in the Old Testament. And then, th then it goes to say, then he opened their understanding. Well, did they understand it before? Why, no. No, they did not. So, so they, they received it. All of this written word has been revealed from heaven. The whole thing. Unless it's something that somebody's talked about somebody else. It's been revealed. All the great books the apostle Paul wrote was nothing more than revelation. The revelation, he said, of Jesus Christ. That's awesome. Well, he didn't have it before, did he? He had murder on his mind. Amen. Now, this is the same man. Same man. His name was Saul, but it's the same. he's the same man. And a, and an educated man. One of the top notch. But he didn't know. He did not know. And he, and he spoke from his own mouth and, and the words were penned that he's receiving mysteries, revelation about mysteries that have been hid from the foundation of the world. God hid them from the, from the eyes of men and now is being revealed unto his holy, his holy apostles. Now they're being able to see now. By, by what means? By the Holy Ghost. Things that have been revealed. So see, it don't matter how smart we are. I'm going to get back to my story in just a moment. It don't matter how smart we are. We're not that smart. It don't matter how dumb we are. We're not that dumb. Aren't you glad? You're not that dumb or you're not that smart. You're not too dumb to get it. You're not, you're not too, you can be the smartest person. I told you, we could put all the geniuses together. Every one of them. What's that man's name in that wheelchair? He's so smart. He's a genius. I forget his name now. You could take him and everybody like him. All of them. All of our sharp witted, witted minds and all of our wisdom, earthly wisdom, and put them all and wrap them all up in one and stick them next to God and say, who's smarter? No contest. Whew. Amen. So it's, that's not it. It's God revealing to us this words in this book. And when you get this revelation of certain things in here, it will change your life forever. Light will come. And when you get the light, you'll have the light. Praise God forevermore. I'm going, to, I'm going to, before I go back to the story, listen here. Peter and John were going up to the temple. 
And I, I, I believe they'd been to that temple several times, and I believe that man had been sitting there several times, but it, nevertheless, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> but they were, that man, that crip, that had been crippled from his birth was, was sitting there, and he was, he was a beggar. And I love this. And Peter looked at him. Amen. And something's, something's going on here. This is more than just a casual look, you know. Hey, how you doing? No, he wasn't one of them. No, when he fastened his eyes on him, there's something stirring in Peter. Glory to God. And along with John, he says, Peter said, now look on us. And he was expecting to receive something. He wasn't expecting what was going to happen to him. He was expecting to receive money. 